you ever wish you could create a pull request or manage your GitHub issues directly from the command line? Well, thanks to the newly released GitHub CLI tool, we finally have first-party support to do just that. And in this video, we're going to use that new GitHub CLI tool to check the status of our issues and to create, check out, and check the status of open pull requests in our GitHub repository. And it's all coming up right after this. Hey, Dev. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Nate. I'm a longtime Android developer, and I enjoy building great software and helping others do the same. On this channel, you'll find tutorials, tips, and advice to help you build better software and to help you grow into your ideal career as a software developer. So if any of that sounds good to you, be sure to click the subscribe button down below to be notified of future content. Now, let's jump back into the GitHub CLI tool. We're going to explore how to install the tool and how to start using it in our day-to-day -day development workflows. But before we jump right into the demo, let's take a second to really explore what the GitHub CLI tool is. GitHub CLI is short for GitHub Command Line Interface. If you're unfamiliar, a command line interface is really a, an interactive tool used from your terminal window that lets you run certain tasks or actions based on simple terminal commands. With GitHub CLI, we can interface directly with our GitHub repositories without ever having to leave the command line. The manual for the new GitHub CLI tool describes it simply as GitHub from the command line. GitHub CLI was recently announced in a blog post. And if you are like me and regularly work with Git from the command line, then you might be really excited about the idea of being able to interface with GitHub directly from the command line as well. The reason this is potentially a really nice tool for us is that without having to jump between the terminal and the browser, there's less context switching involved in our day-to-day -day workflows, and that's generally a big plus for us developers. How do you use Git? Are you using Git primarily from the command line? Or do you have a go-to GUI client to make working with Git easier in your day-to-day -day workflows? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, somewhat unsurprisingly, you can find the GitHub CLI tool on GitHub, and you can find additional information such as release notes, how to contribute to the project, open issues, etc. And that's where we're going to start for a demo. Let's start by taking a look at how to install the tool onto your local development machine, and then we'll start exploring how we could make use of this in our day-to-day -day workflows. Thankfully, GitHub CLI is available on essentially any platform with which you might want it. We have Windows, Mac, as well as a variety of Linux distributions. And if we check out the GitHub page, you'll see that there are detailed installation instructions for each of these platforms. Now, I'm using a Mac for my development, so I'm going to follow the Mac OS install instructions and install GitHub CLI using Brew. So I've opened up into the command line and I'm going to type brew install github slash gh slash gh and hit enter. This will then kick off the installation process for the github CLI tool. Now homebrew is going to do its thing and eventually it's going to start installing gh from github slash gh. We'll see some progress here indicating that it is almost done. And then finally, at the end, we'll see that it has finished installing the new CLI tool. All right, now we have the tool installed on our local machine. Let's start to play with it. Let's see what it can do. Now, I like to start off after I've installed the new tool by checking for the help command to see if I can maybe list out what commands are available and what I can start to do with the tool. In this case, we can do that by typing gh space help and hitting enter, and we'll see the list of available commands. Now, if you're really leveraging GitHub for your project management, then working with GitHub issues is probably a very regular occurrence in your day-to-day -day work. You might be using GitHub issues to track bugs, to manage feature requests. So managing GitHub issues is where we're going to start with GitHub CLI. So let's dive back into the terminal and start exploring how to work with issues from the command line. So once again, we're back at the command line. If we type gh help, we'll see that we have the help, the issue, and the PR command available. So if we do gh issue dash dash help, we can see the specific commands available for the gh issue command. 
including create, list, status, and view. If we do gh issue list, we'll be prompted to authenticate the tool with GitHub. If we hit enter, that'll open us up into a page where we can then authorize GitHub CLI with our GitHub account. So here I'll go ahead and enter my password. And then when I'm done, I can click submit and it'll let me know that I have successfully authenticated. And I'll come back to the command line and hit enter. And then it'll complete that command and show me my list of issues. So one more time, just to simplify what that process looks like once authenticated, we'll type gh issue list, and it will list out the three issues that are currently in this repository. Now, if I do gh issue list dash dash label bug, it'll give me just the issues with the bug label. Likewise, if I search for enhancement issues, it will return just the issues with the enhancement label. If I do gh issue list dash dash assignee and then I pass it this string of my GitHub username, it'll return me just issues to which my account has been assigned. And you could use this for other accounts. GH issue view 11 will open up the issue number 11 and it'll open that up into a web browser. GH issue create will allow us to create an issue right from the command line. You see here, I have issue templates in place and it's allowing me to interact with those templates and choose between a bug report or a feature request. I've chosen bug report and now I can enter a title for the issue. And now I can enter a body for the issue. So in this case, I'll go ahead and hit E to launch Nano. And then I will just add a simple line of text here just to update this description to show that it actually came from the GitHub CLI tool. Once I'm done with that, we'll go ahead and save this out and return to GitHub CLI. Once here, you can either submit it directly or you can first preview it in the browser. So now I can see that new issue and I can go ahead and click submit. I'll then return back to the command line, type gh issue status, and I can see the status of that newly created issue number 13. And it says less than a minute ago that issue was created. Now, hopefully, we're all reviewing our code in one way or another. If you're managing your project on GitHub, then that likely takes the form of regular pull requests that are then reviewed, discussed, and ultimately merged back into your primary development branch. With GitHub CLI, we can check the status of PRs, we can create new PRs, and we can list out PRs all from the command line. We can even open up a branch related to a PR directly by opening that PR from the GitHub CLI tool which I think is pretty awesome. So let's jump back to the terminal and see how we can work with pull requests from GitHub CLI command line tool. So ghpr dash dash help will show us that we can check out, create, list, status, and view pull requests right from the command line. We'll start by saying ghpr list, and it'll list us out the only PR that's currently open in this repository. ghpr status, will list out the current status. So we'll see created by me, current branch, and PRs requesting a code review from me. GH PR checkout, followed by the number of a specific pull request, will allow us to check out directly into the associated branch for that pull request. So here I'm already on that branch, but if I check out to master, and then once again, try to check out the branch for PR9, it'll automatically switch me over to this any KTLint branch. GHPR view number nine will then open that PR directly up into my web browser and I can interact with it from the web as I might be normally used to. If I once again check out master from the command line and then I create a new branch, we can sample the workflow for actually creating a new PR directly from the command line. So here, now that I'm on a new branch, I am going to make a small update to the readme for this repository. So I'll open up into VI. I'll make a couple of changes here to the readme page. I'll then go ahead and add these changes and commit them to my local branch here. Once I've committed those changes, I can create a new PR 
directly from the tool by typing ghpr create. That'll then kick off the CLI tool to begin the PR creation process. So I'll start by entering in a title for this new pull request. Next, I can enter the body, or in this case, just hit enter to skip the adding of a body. And then once again, I can preview in the browser or just click submit directly. As soon as I click submit, I can now type ghpr list and I'll see that I have that newly created pull request from that new branch automatically. I didn't even have to push the branch. The command line tool did that for me. And now if I type ghpr view 14, it'll open up into the browser that brand new created pull request. Now again, I'll check out master branch once more. I'll type ghpr list dash dash state merged. We'll see here, it'll list me out all the merged PRs. And I could do this for other PR status checks as well. Okay, that's it for now on this demo of GitHub CLI. We've already walked through a handful of commands that if you're already using GitHub on a regular basis, are probably going to be immediately valuable to you in your day-to-day -day workflows, at least if you're working at the command line a lot. Want to contribute to GitHub CLI? If you have a feature request, a bug to report, or really any other type of feedback, you have a couple different options to contribute back to the project. Because it's on GitHub, you could simply create a new GitHub issue. And if you follow this process, you'll actually see that there are several different GitHub issue templates set up to help guide you in that process of creating an issue properly so that it can be used most effectively by the team. There's also a Google form to help give your feedback on how to work with the tool and what your experience has been so far. It's pretty short, it shouldn't take more than about five minutes, and it will likely provide some good feedback to the team. That's pretty much it. If you'd like to explore GitHub CLI tool more on your own, you can check out the announcement blog post or the manual, and I'll have links to all of these resources in the description of the video down below, so you can find them there. All right, devs, that's it for this video. What do you think of this new GitHub CLI tool? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it something you could see yourself using in your day-to-day -day development? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you'd be interested in learning more about the tool, let me know that as well. Thank you so much for watching, devs. Until next time.